Let me explain to you why your blonde hair gets brassy or dull. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. Oh, Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I will be talking about blonde hair going brassy and blonde hair going dull. So, if you want to find out why your blonde hair might be going dull and brassy and how to stop it, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are going to be talking blonde hair and I've noticed that a lot with my blonde clients and loads of blondes tend to go brassy or tend to dull down. Meaning, brassy hair, right, you get your hair done, it's lovely and blonde and after a few weeks or washes your hair just goes more yellowy, more orangey. So I'm going to explain to you why that happens and what causes that and sometimes hair goes dull so you get your lovely fresh head of highlights or balayage and then after a few washes boom the color darkens down and loads of people think that the color fades but that's kind of true but blonde color doesn't really fade and we're gonna get into it so you guys I need to really explain to you what happens during lightning service to your hair so you guys, let's get right into it. To achieve a certain type of blonde, you need to lighten the hair and everyone's hair has a natural base. And a natural base could be a dark blonde, could be brown, could be black, could be a light blonde. Every base has an underlining undercoat. Bear with me guys, undercoats are very important because when you lighten the hair, all you can see underneath is the underlying undercoat. For example, my hair is a natural base 6 which is a dark blonde and my undercoat is orange so the minute I apply pre-lightener or any lightening product orange is going to be first color that people will see so when you lighten the hair you have to go through all them undercoats to reach your target shade that sounds quite confusing but as we can see there is chart that's helping us right so if let's say I'm going to lighten my hair we need to get my hair to a base 10 which is a pale yellow so that's going to give me a perfect anchor to anchor my blonde hair then you have to apply a toner and obviously toners are very popular at the moment because what a toner does or a gloss it either neutralizes the undercoat or gives the hair a desired tone whether it wants to be silver or platinum or honey or goldeny so bleach as you call it or pre-lightener itself will not technically give you blonde hair it will just give you a very pale yellow undercoat that's a natural undercoat of your hair color so let's start with why hair gets brassy now we know what an undercoat is so let's say you go into a hair salon you lighten your hair you went for a lovely silvery blonde and toner was applied a toner will neutralize your undercoat so if you have a lot of warmth in your hair on top of your undercoat that will neutralize and give you either clean blonde etc etc depends on the desired result hair color is not magic hair color will wash out of the hair and toner will wash out of the hair so after a while let's say if you're not looking after your hair color but we're gonna get into it the toner will start fading away and you're gonna start seeing the underline and undercoat so the brassiness that you can see fading out is your natural undercoat so basically your toner can fade out and the undercone shines through. Obviously some people get highlights so bright that they don't need a toner or just use a purple shampoo and it's perfect, but in some situation the undercoat will shine through. Also pre-lighteners and bleaches do have neutralizing powers in them that they're gonna give you that more of a cleaner result, but after a while that will wear off. This is the main reason why your hair color goes brassy when you're blonde, because like that it fades away, it rinses out and you can see what's underneath your natural hair color. External aggression can help your hair color to go brassy. If you're spending a lot of time in sun, UV can break down the chemicals in the hair color. So UV will break down the toner or the color and you're gonna start seeing that undercurrent shining through. So let me give you another example. Let's say your hair is a dark brown and let's say your undercoat is red. Let's say you're the darkest brown and your undercoat is red and you are looking to achieve let's say a honey blonde color like you just want it slightly bit lighter so let's say your target shade would be 
something on like a dark blonde with like a honey tone, right? So what a hairdresser will do is let's say they're gonna balayage your hair and they're gonna wait until your hair lifts to an orange because orange supports a dark blonde. Then they're gonna apply that toner and your hair is gonna be beautiful. You're gonna have that beautiful, let's say cookies and cream color, right? So you leave the hair salon, you go home and you don't look after it, you go swimming, you go to the sun, you wash it with whatever, and then you're gonna start seeing all that orangeness coming through it. That is basically your undercoat. So that's how blonde hair gets brassy. Blonde hair gets brassy, one, if you don't look after it, and two, that's just the nature of the hair. The hates, hair lifts up, and if you don't look after it correctly, it will go brassy. So how can you stop it? Right, using the correct hair care. So obviously, if you have really blonde hair, purple shampoo, boom, purple shampoo will neutralize any warmth in your hair. Two, color saving shampoo, depending on the color that you have. So if you have that honey blonde, color saving shampoo would be perfect. Revisiting your hairdresser for glossing and toner services. Right, so now when we covered why hair gets brassy, let's talk about why hair gets dull. What is dullness of the hair? So right, you got your balayage or you got your highlights and the color is lovely. You go home and after a few washes, boom, it looks three shades darker and you're like, the color has faded. No, the color has not faded. Dullness of the hair, right, think of it this way. If you're lightening your hair, you're technically damaging the hair. So the hair is a lot more sensitized and porous. And porous porosity of the hair is very, very important. Why? Because when the hair is porous, it will absorb absolutely anything. External aggression is the number one reason for blonde hair going dull. For example, if you have very, very hard water, or there's a lot of metal in your water, them metals and minerals from your water will sit on top of your hair, making your hair color dull. I remember myself, and I did do a full film on hard water that I'm gonna link above here or here. And literally, you guys, when I was bleach blonde, I'd go to the gym, wash my hair, boom, my hair would be three shades darker. Why? Because my hair is sensitized and it is porous, and whatever's in the water, the hair just decides to grab because the cuticles are open and anything will just sit on top of it. Other external aggression that will make your hair dull would be like smoke, pollution, because when the hair is porous and it is sensitized, it is prone to anything. Like literally the cuticle is open, so that cuticle is gonna grab everything from the outside. And also, when you're outside, the sun and the UV rays, because the, because the hair is so fragile, will help the toner to strip off. So one causes the other really. Right, so how can you stop the dullness of the hair? And toners will not help for that because when your hair is dull, all the minerals or the smoke that's built up on the hair, toner will not work for that because toners and glossing really works for natural color, if that makes sense. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to use hair care that will be perfect for either hard water, mineral water, anything for swimmers, etc, etc. Sometimes you might have to cleanse it. I often find myself is like, I'd nearly be doing highlights and the fresh highlights are beautiful and the ends are just so mucky. And at one point those mucky ends were as blonde as the top. And I know in Ireland it's such a big issue because the water is just desperate, but there are treatments in your hair salon like the metal detox that will remove metals and it will give a better result because it will neutralize all that buildup on your hair. When it comes to blonde hair and brassiness, we need to remember that it is natural. It's something that happens naturally because like that, our hair has undercoats and our hair has pigmentation. You might have more red pigmentation, yellow pigmentation, blue pigmentation, but that undercoat is still gonna be there. If you're a color like mine, there is orange underneath your hair and when you start lifting and lightening that hair, orange is gonna be the first one. So when your hair is lightened to be very, very blonde, that yellowness that's still left in it, because you can't lift the hair to be white because it will just snap off. If it's up there where it's yellowy, 
that yellowness after a while will start showing through and then obviously stuff like water sun and everything will affect that even more anyways guys i hope you answered your question about brass hair let me know your experience with brass hair let me know if that helped if that made you understand slightly bit more but this is a very much a technical way of explaining why hair goes brassy and what causes brassiness on blonde hair.